This is one of the things that I thought would be the worst part about living in the center of Alameda, driving through the tube to get into Oakland. But I can tell you it's really not that bad. And today I'm gonna to talk about the three things that I thought would be a really big deal and the negative about living in the center part of Alameda, but really just aren't. And we're gonna start right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, like I said in the intro, I'm gonna talk about three things that I thought would be a really big deal about moving to the center part of the island or the western part and uh, having to get used to as versus where I used to live on the east end. Uh, these things are stuff that I frankly thought would be a really hard transition, be a real negative impact on my life, uh, but frankly just haven't been. And I wanna share those with you today because if you're thinking about moving to this part of the island, you've probably seen some of my other videos where this tube in particular, I've been harping on and saying it can get backed up. It's really full of traffic and all that stuff. I thought it would be a hard transition to time my roots getting on and off the island through the tube. And what I can tell you is because I don't commute uh, regular hours and most people aren't commuting either, it's not that backed up, frankly. Uh, it's actually pretty convenient to get into downtown Oakland when there's not a ton of traffic. So that's my number one thing that I really thought I was gonna have to get used to, totally change my commute times and uh, getting on and off the island and dealing with a bunch of traffic, but it hasn't been. That being said, it might change here uh, after uh, people start going back to work and commuting through normal business hours. But number one, the tube, not a big deal. All right, so the second thing that I thought was gonna be a really big deal, but isn't, is the lack of a big park. Uh, I've done a video on my East End video, which I'll link to about Lincoln Park, and uh, that place was awesome, man. It was huge, tons of room to play sports, run the dogs, Cruzy Park was not too much farther away. There was a ton of proximity to parks. But, moved here, and we've got Franklin Park here right behind me. This place, I have to tell you, is probably one of the smaller parks um, that I've ever been to regularly, but is easily one of the most beautiful. You've got these, this huge redwood grove behind me with these little trails in it. You've got a playground, basketball court, swimming pool, baseball diamond right there. And uh, for me, obviously it's walking distance. I'm literally two blocks away. So I bring my dog here. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see on my story, that I post uh, a lot of stuff from this park specifically. But it's really, honestly, a small park, but it's awesome. It's actually one of my new favorite places to go hang out, read a book, walk the dog, all that good stuff. So even though it might feel like there's not as many parks as the East End, this place has a lot to offer. Third and final thing that I was worried about moving here was actually the location. Uh, I know that Let's be honest, the Gold Coast is awesome. Once you're in here, it's a beautiful neighborhood, tons of great houses, very quiet streets, but it's also pretty locked in the center of the island. It's hard to walk anywhere. It is not easy to get, uh, or simply as easy to get off the island uh, or to the Oakland airport whenever we start flying again. I was really uh, dreading it, frankly, and I gotta say that I'm over it. <laughs> it's really awesome here being in the middle of the island. Even though it takes a few extra minutes to get off the island, it's not the end of the world. That being said, uh, that commute time is something you do have to factor in if you're gonna move here. Overall though, I have to say once you're here, it's worth the extra couple of minutes. Now, I just told you three things that I absolutely uh, thought were gonna be a big deal about living in this part of the island, but aren't. Now I'm gonna uh, do another video here coming shortly uh, on the things that actually are kind of a big deal and something you definitely need to consider if you're going to move to this part of Alameda. Uh, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that because you're not going to want to miss the content I'm bringing out every single Friday uh, on this channel. So without any further ado guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Hans Strazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International signing off for now. See you on the next one.